Hello, and in this Eclipse tip, I'm going to show you how you can use Eclipse's Quick Fix feature to quickly generate code. What I'll do is to show you this is uh, take an example from my uh, Java TDD course that I have, um, and it's this one here to write a custom matcher each and every to confirm that each of the numbers minus 3, minus 6, and minus 12 are negative numbers. So you might learn a bit about uh, Java. Uh, Hamcrest matches as well if you want to watch this video. Um, this is how I like to do this. Uh, let's start off with an empty project. We'll create ourselves a new JUnit test case. Um, each and every. And yeah, off you go, do that thing. And so uh, let's just write the code. So I've got a little uh, snippet which is to assert that list of numbers. Um, each and every is less than zero. So that's sort of what we want to say, isn't it? So our list of numbers, let's do control one, or if you like to, you can uh, hover over here, but it's the same thing. So control one, create a local variable, and we want it to be a list of integers is equal to array start as list. Oops, typo. Uh, was it minus three, minus six, minus twelve? Control one. Okay, so that's that. And then this is uh, is less than zero. So control one, and um, create a method. That needs to be a matcher. It's going to be a match of integer, I suppose. So um, we want to return a new type safe matcher control space to bring that up in each case and uh, one more time control one okay so the description of this thing uh, description dot append description of append text um, is less than zero and down to here matches uh, for the value i I suppose it's simply return i less than zero. Okay, so that's that one done. You could have used a, actually a built-in uh, matcher for that as well. I was just uh, while I'm in the zone. And let's do this guy, control one again. And you can see that Eclipse has worked out a rather more complicated uh, expression here. So what I want to do is I want to return a list, a match over a list of integers that's going to take a single matcher, which will be the predicate to be evaluated against each and every one of the elements. But let's just get uh, Eclipse to do the heavy lifting here and return new type safe matcher, control space once more, and uh, control one, add unimplemented things, and the description of this matcher um, is append text each and every one of the list. Something like that might work. And then here's our list. And so we want to say here for each integer in the list, we need is for the matcher to um, to be true. So we just need to actually make this final so I can reference it within a anonymous in a class. So let's say the matcher matches the value. Oops, not that one. It's going to be the integer, of course. Sorry. So um, let's see, so is it just that? So if it matches, then that's good news. If it doesn't match, then, um, so if it doesn't match, and I want to return false, we've got a, an element that doesn't meet the underlying matcher. If we get this far, then we're good. Okay, I think that's it. Um, so let's go and run the thing, run, run as JUnit test. No, it seemed to pass. Let's make it fail. One more time. And uh, there's our message. Expected that each and every one of the list um, and got that. I forgot to specify the predicate, so uh, it's just not telling me what failed here. So, yeah, we need to go matcher, uh, the underlying matcher, uh, dot describe to the description. Let's run that. Uh, Test again. Hang on, what am I doing wrong here? I think I need to go. Sorry, matcher. Dot. Describe to the description. I think that might be it. Let's try that again.
more time. Okay, that reads better. Each and every one of the list is less than zero, but instead got minus three plus six and minus twelve. Anyway, so there we are. So uh, mostly that was basically control one as the quick fix, and uh, just pulling things out with lots of control spaces as we as we go. Hope that was useful, and uh, see you again sometime.